We are going on a road trip. Shirts in one, pants and underwear in one, and shoes in another. Super important. Ooh. Oh, am I kidding? I'm always a minimalist with my clothing. I literally wear the same four things over and over. How many pairs of shoes are you gonna bring? I'm probably, ooh, probably gonna bring a sneaker, a bomb sneaker, a flip flop. By a flip flop, you mean? Slides. Yeah, I mean your shoes. We yeah. have to move on to the kitchen for all the foods. Woo! Kind of have some of it started here. Um, and I think we're gonna pack everything in just a cooler, even though nothing has to stay cold. So this is my protein powder and this is my greens powder. I mix these two together every day. Then I also add some spirulina. My powdered peanut butters, they gotta come. This is all mixed together. I do a concoction. Don't my, mm, ignore this because this is not real. This is my special blend. It's my electrolytes. <gasps> Raven loves these. These are her new favorite thing. My peanut butters. Great Parmesan crisps. My spoon. My bowls. I travel everywhere with these things. Call me crazy. I'll call you addicted. I'll call you that. I won't call you crazy. Okay, I appreciate it. I'm going to bring my tin foil too. This is why I'm bringing the tin foil. Just for that one potato. Yeah. All of our vitamins. Thank you. You're welcome. I don't know. It just feels like we're getting kind of good at doing this. Traveling? Packing. All the shirts have been placed in this pants. Underwear. I mean, do we need to get a rental car? You're just starting out there right now? Do we need to get a rental car? I mean, I always want to get a rental car. Ooh. But you better get that shit right now because most rental places are closed on Sunday. They close now. <laughs> Enterprise, yeah. It's another one. Sixth. SIX. <laughs> Going to a rental car. Yeah, I think that's the best bet. I don't know what we're going to get. Really? They didn't yeah. specify? Well, they asked me to specify, and I was like, the nicest, fanciest, comfiest, luxuriousestest thing that you could possibly give us. And the guy cool, was like, Cool, we're getting a Yaris. I left two potatoes in the oven, so hopefully this BS traffic. You left them in the oven? I had, what do you mean? They weren't done. What am I supposed to do? I'm between a rock and a hard place. Oh, you should have turned the oven off and let it just slowly. Yeah. <laughs> we'll update you guys on the status of our home once we get back there <laughs> oh in God. whatever car we're in. <laughs> So who's gonna do the first leg of the driving in your opinion? That means me. Cool beans. I'll be doing the first leg 
of the trip, which I'm fine with. You want to rock, paper, scissors for it? Yeah, let's rock, rock, paper, scissors for the first leg of the trip. What's the first leg? Like the first activity that we stop at? Or are we going to go by hours? Oh, geez, Louise. I think it's just, it depends how early we start. Rock, paper, scissors for it. But it, no matter what time we leave, that's the time we leave. <laughs> It is around 6.42 this morning. I got up super early because I did not finish packing last night with babes. We finished the clothes. We did some of the food, but there's so many other things that need to happen. She put her toiletry bag together. I'm about to finish packing all the technology. Then we gotta pack the car. How do you feel, are you ready? Yeah. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's get on the road before eight. the road we're in the car we're going on a trip all the way across the little bit of america let go let go okay so i'm sure everyone is wondering about road trip food and car snacks because that's honestly all i care about on a road trip i guess you can probably take a guess as to what is going to be in my car food bag um, and if you guessed a purple sweet potato, you're correct. Um, I got two little guys here. I usually like one that is like these two combined, which is why I have two, but there weren't any um, at the market. The thing about the purple sweet potato that's kind of interesting is it has these like nubbies that grow on them. I don't know why it's a lot more like barnacle-y, but I like to cut them out because it makes for a more pleasurable eating experience. So I kind of just do that. Just put like a wound in it. <laughs> Sorry, little potato. Anyway, I cut out as many of them as I can. It's very satisfying. I feel like a dermatologist removing skin tags, I don't know. Anyway, I do that. I forgot to rip my tin foil. Okay, so once I've cut out, it's like I'm carving a pumpkin or making a puppet potato. But then I will also pierce it because why not? And then I put it in my tin foil and I kind of make like a tin foil boat. And I preheat my oven to somewhere between 400 and 450 in my friends will go and honestly i don't even know i roast my potatoes for a long time hour hour and a half two hours and they kind of caramelize and become gooey and i don't have to put anything on them it's they're wonderful i mean i really enjoy them and everyone who's had one loves it and raven's always like oh my god the house smells so good when you roast your potato yeah i don't i wish i could take more credit for it it's really just the magic of the purple sweets and in they go to the oven so there you go they're in i'll pull them out when they're done actually that's a lie i will flip them pierce them about like 30 to 45 minutes in and then i leave them on that flipped side i only turn them once and then when they're done, which I can tell by the smell or the look, and sometimes you can tell they're burning, um, pull it out, and you guys will see me eat them in the car tomorrow. <laughs>